Hi everyone, Amber Kanoi here visiting Solutions Functional Medicine once again with Mandy Snail and this time we're talking about all the fun stuff. Hot flashes, <laughs> night sweats, good times, good times. <laughs> Gotta love it. <laughs> well, these two symptoms are the stereotypes associated with menopause, and even these can be kind of temporary and seen sort of as a transition as you start going through perimenopause and eventually to menopause. It can be some of the first signs. Understanding the cause of hot flashes and night sweats is very helpful to help women understand what's going on with their body and what they can do about it. So where is it? So it's very, very common. It's actually from the decline, very predictably happening in women with the concentration of estrogen in their body. Women are different than men in that men will generate even a small amount of hormone for their entire lifetime. Women, however, go through a transition where their ovaries decline, predictably losing testosterone between around age 30, about one to three percent a year, progesterone decline after age 40, and then finally estrogen loss around age 51 and a half, according to North American Menopause Society, which seems that that's the most common age for ovarian retirement to happen. But hot flashes and night sweats are very specific to estrogen decline and deficiency. And the replacement of that is the most effective way and the upstream cause of the problem because estrogen, among all of its 300 roles in the body, it also regulates temperature. You know, I saw my mom go through all the hot flashes and night sweats and with my grandmother having breast cancer, she was so opposed to anything because of all that research out there sure. that we've now learned, you know, has been kind of discarded that she, she didn't want to put herself at any other risk. It's hard to suffer. So it's oh. great to know that, you know, there's options now, especially as I am approaching that window in the next several years. Well, it's just so unfortunate because I mentioned North American Menopause Society, who is an authority in menopause, who is putting menopause on the map right now in history. It's a very important time in history because the Women's Health Initiative of 2002 has been dismissed six years ago as legitimate science, and we owe an apology to many women like our mothers and grandmothers who we saw suffer, who were denied hormone replacement therapy, unfortunately. and the. Um, the incidence of chronic disease much higher as a result of that um, lack of treatment. Now women deserve to have that conversation and find out what their real risk is in the light of the studies available, current studies. And how do they have this conversation? Women need to be their own advocates. In fact, we advocate to many of our clients to read a really wonderful chronological unfolding of WHI's un uh, results called Estrogen Matters by Dr. Abram Blooming. Women need to be their own advocate in this season when estrogen got the blame for production of breast cancer, when actually we know better now, but women can be their own advocate. If they find that their providers are not up to date on estrogen, then as ladies, we just move on to the next provider and find one that can help us. All right, give them a call.